Welcome back to Virtual Reality Game Dev Ed. This is the ninth tutorial video for our friend Codename B. Okay. Now, real quick, in the meantime, I just went ahead and set up uh, this pole with the empty object um, so I don't have to keep uh, redoing things in the videos. Okay, at least this video. So I'm going to show you uh, what I did with this pole over here. Okay. So while we have it, uh, first thing we need to do real quick is go ahead and uh, select this um, and go ahead and put our steel texture on it. Make it match match the uh, pole itself, and then. Okay, now to add an empty object, and the reason we use empty objects is for cases like this, when these two things are scaled differently, um, we actually want to go ahead and, uh, well, that's fine, we can leave the capsule collider on that. We don't need the capsule collider, but we don't need a collider on this top one, though, so we can remove this component up here. But uh, go ahead and leave the capsule collider on the bottom part. I actually want to put a capsule collider back down here on the other pole. Okay. So while your pole is selected, come under Game Object and create an empty. And that'll make it fairly close, hopefully. This kind of didn't end up close at all. But that's okay. Now we want to select the pole and we actually want to match all of these positions. We want that empty object in the same place as the pole. So hit control C on that and then go to your it should just say game object right now. And then control V. And keep doing that to all three of these real quick. Control C. Control V. Control C, Control V, and now it's in the same place as the pole. Okay, now I want to go ahead and rename this object. I named my other empty object Spot Pole 2, so this is going to be Spot Pole 1. Okay, now that it's in the same place, I've got my top piece uh, with the same material as my pole. Um, go ahead and select both of these and move them into the spot pole. And that worked nicely now. Okay. Now we need to put the spot lamps, the spot lights, rather, up here um, in the same place as our spot lamp. So under game object create other and come to spotlight. And we want to move its position to the same position as the uh, spot lamp here. It is going to be spotlight one. Okay. Copy these and paste them into the spotlights position It didn't match up at all, so we're just going to have to do this manually. That's fine. It's not that hard. Just move it up to the same place as our uh, spotlight. 
by lamp and then we want to rotate it up a bit so it points over there in the corner okay now one thing you notice is it's not going very far at all so we actually want to select this middle dot there and pull it out now I've got a funky shape it's a little too big so pull it back down and see where your little light is right we want that light to be almost all the way over to the corner right there okay now go back to move come back into your global position and go ahead and duplicate this move it over to where our other one is and then is uh, rotated by 180 degrees on the y-axis so all I have to do here is just hit zero and that'll flip it right back over to the other side for me now the next thing I want to do is go ahead and I didn't uh didn't duplicate it. Well, that's okay. I'll just make a new one over there. I want this light to be part of my uh, spot pole too, as well. but now that I've got it on the other pole here I've got to rename it to spotlight too okay now go ahead and uh, delete the directional light so we can get it out of the scene and see how bright we are over here on our spotlight I want to go ahead and uh, increase the intensity a bit so we have bit of a spot while your item is selected try to duplicate it again there we go For this one we actually want to pull out bring it out to an, em an empty space right here rename it to the one and uh, Go ahead and move it back over to the other side. Line it up with your pole. And rotate it 180 degrees. Back to the other side. Now you see we have a couple lights there. Okay. Now that gave us a couple spotlights. <clears throat> now we're going to need to uh, give ourselves back a regular light. So what we want to do here is now go ahead and create another area light. We want to scale this up to like, no, oh, let's not use an area light. Let's use point light, excuse me. Want to increase the intensity and the size a little bit, range. Let's make its range, uh, that's a little too high. Let's 
Let's make its range uh, 50. And then we want to move it kind of towards the center of the view here and then pull it up a little bit. And that looks about right. Now we've got all of our walls lit up fairly well. Now we've got a couple spotlights sticking out where we can put our little enemies. Lower the intensity down on this just now. That was alright actually. That looks good. Now let's click play and see how that looks. Yeah, isn't that cool? Okay. So last thing I forgot to do real quick, you got to put your spotlight in your spot pole over here. Okay. And the angle a little smaller on that, maybe uh, move it back up a little. See how that looks. Now oh, that looks about right. Okay, now one thing you might notice with your lights, this area light, we can just leave that name, that's fine. One thing you'll notice with lights, you see this odd effect we're getting off of our spot spotlight over here? The lights will actually affect each other in weird ways. So you can't have too many lights too close together, too bright and whatnot. They all they all affect each other a little bit differently too. But that's fine to have a bright corner over here and a darker corner there. It looks okay. So there's a little start of a scene. Now we gotta put a couple objects to hide behind real quick. And then uh, we'll do some other stuff. Um, we're going to actually put turrets over here that will follow us around. We'll be able to hide behind these other objects. So first let's go ahead and put in another object. Uh, let's go ahead and say a capsule this time. And move this thing down a little so it's kind of, uh, kind of on our floor. We want this to uh, scale out on the uh, x-axis by 5. No, that's too far. Let's say, oop, that's why. I went 50. Say 5. And up on the y, let's just go 2. Something like that. Now we got a nice little wall to hide behind over here. We're going to rotate it a little bit and move it and set it up uh, kind of sort of in front of uh, that little object. Well, where that object is going to be. It's not there yet. And now the next thing we want to do is put a little texture on this. So let's go ahead and just uh, make this green. That's fine. And drag it in, put it right on top of it. And there is something to hide behind. We're going to put some some more uh, obstacles around to hide behind like that. But that's about the end of uh, my time for this video. So I will pick up close to there in the next one. We will see you all soon.